to save the Christianity. So, yeah, um, in next month, uh, I'm very uh, I also uh, exciting to visit uh, Las Vegas. So, uh, so from not only uh, not only uh, ACRC, the uh, United States, uh, but also from South America, uh, more, more than 25 uh, pastors will gather. And also from Korea, this time is very remarkable. Uh, they also bring, they will bring uh, uh, 25 the Christian pastors. So, yeah, I can see it's it's like a uh, truly finally after the winter. It looks like the, uh, the the providential spring uh, is, seems like coming uh, because yeah, it was so um, so far it was difficult to invite uh, such a such a many Christian. So since two fathers uh, Danbury um, Providence, the many Christian American Christian pastor uh, has been attended and then they learned divine principle and they uh, coming to uh, Korea. But still, the, the Korean pastors, the Christian pastors, it's difficult to join. But nowadays, it's truly, uh, yeah, um, I feel it's it, the different era has come. So uh, some of Christian pastors uh, will attend from Africa and from Asia Pacific. So, uh, so, uh, so the number, I mean, all, all the time, the air ticket fee uh, is very expensive. So uh, still, yeah, I, I truly wish if, if we could bring more and more Christian pastors, but still, uh, uh, I'm very glad to bring those uh, Christian pastors uh, from Asia Pacific. Then, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Reverend Sutin. I, I listened to your uh, testimony with great interest, and I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. Uh, so Sutin, Reverend Sutin is a leader in Thailand who is uh, working with me. So he started from a young age with a great motivation. That's very special motivation and to save others, to support uh, uh, poor people. Uh, and he found how to save others. So his motivation for uh, joining the church itself is already wonderful. So many people, I mean, get confused and <laughs> very struggled uh, for their own life. Then uh, many people looking for their own salvation. But from the beginning, his motivation is much better than them. So already uh, from the beginning, uh, he uh, practiced the, the living for the sake of others. So, so it's a good thing. In his testimonies, uh, the word life change experience appear, uh, appear a lot. So it is, in other words, um, in other words, it's uh, uh, the resurrection, the spirituality, uh, the, it, uh, it is an experience of coming closer to heavenly parents by focusing on providence, heavenly providence, rather than uh, himself. So his life of faith is an exciting life of daily growing, 
drawing, drawing closer to God through a series of resurrections. So, yeah, day by day, uh, yeah, we actually, we need the life change experience. But actually, uh, if I uh, invest uh, for, for myself, actually, uh, it's very, it's, it's difficult to feel the life change. So life changing experience is actually uh, uh, when I invest uh, something beyond my limitation, then overcome that limitation. Then uh, we feel the life changing. So actually, uh, for not my own, but for others, uh, actually we can uh, do more. So uh, the, from the beginning, his motivation is how to save the others. So uh, that's why he could uh, continue the, his life of faith uh, through the life-changing experience day by day. So his decision to devote his life uh, to this path was also uh, preceded uh, by his love for his family. Actually, he would have been a well-respected filial son if he had lost his faith. So uh, if he, I mean, uh, give up uh, his life of faith, but he, his, uh, yeah, he could be uh, still the very filial son of for his parents. But of course, uh, he could have followed the right path and been filial both uh, before heavenly parents and before his own parents. So he succeeded uh, both the filial piety. So his testimonies are very helpful uh, not only the first generation who joined the path of faith, but also uh, the, to the second generation who are walking the path of Hyojongra. So in many cases, uh, the parents and also the second gen himself uh, struggle a lot because many of second gen just walking uh, the path of second gen the natural born second gen, but the the title of second gen is the value in the moment, value of the moment when he or she was born. So actually that, that's a value for the beginning point. So in the, on the start line of uh, their life, the second generation, that title is truly, truly precious. It's a crowning, the crowning the, the child of God to the baby. So it shows that like uh, Adam, almost like Adam and Eve. Uh, uh, so it's a, the, how they are precious and how they are uh, special. But eventually, uh, when they grow up, uh, they get in trouble and and in many, many cases, they start uh, confused, get confused. Uh, because, yeah, because the, the moment when, when they born, that was very special. But eventually, I mean, just being second gen is not enough, actually. So, so the life of faith how to how to continue how to keep the standard the from from the from the beginning to the end so alpha and omega have to be the same so uh so the all second gen uh, in the middle of the around the the teenager teenagers period they have to they have to realize that 
all the second gen have to be the Hyojun lamp after all. Then our alpha and omega will be connected. So then when we look at the testimony of the Reverend Sutin, yeah, actually uh, he's very, uh, his uh, testimony was very uh, uh, impressive because the it's the uh, his his motivation and his standard has been never changed. So, uh, so that's very uh, I think uh, I truly uh, the, uh, that that is the reason why I'm I I trust in him. So there are very few. Unfortunately, there are very few young leaders in the world uh, who can serve as the model models in training the future generation. So for second and third generation, now they truly uh, nowadays after the after the uh, true mother's investment, the many people now many second gen and third gen now truly. Uh, start realize uh, their own value and also the two mother gave us the special identity as Hyojun Lan. So nowadays many second gen and third gen truly eager to uh, get that identity. But unfortunately um, yeah, yeah, very few young leaders uh, can be the good model good role model for them. But uh, yeah, Reverend Sutin uh, is uh, actually uh, one of the good model in Thailand. So, so yeah, so uh, because of him, uh, because of him, I'm, I also, uh, I'm encouraged. So he's a leader uh, we can trust. I have never seen him say a weak word. So even in the most difficult times of the Thai church, he has not thrown uh, uh, himself away, uh, but has quite, uh, uh, but he has uh, patiently fulfilled his responsibilities. That all the time, uh, he, he doesn't say uh, much words, <laughs> very few words, always, yes, no. <laughs> uh, but uh, all the time, uh, he's very trustworthy uh, because uh, all, from the beginning, he decide uh, not to escape, not to give up. Mm. He always uh, already set his mind to fulfill his mission. So that's uh, also a very important thing. Um, some other people uh, too much get influenced by their uh, own, the, how to say, the emotion affecting, affected by the, the circumstances. So, but the, the Levant Sutins, uh, the, uh, standard is not so much I mean, up and up and down. I mean, keep continue, keep invest uh, the, the, his, uh, his investment. So um, uh, he does not prioritize his own, the uh, joy or anger, anger or solo, but always he focused on the heavenly uh, shimjong, heavenly heart. So uh, his standard of mind is not affected by the environment and he is strong in difficulties. So it is also wonderful that his uh, family participant in Chonshimon prayer. Mm, so that's also a good tradition. So I believe that his children uh, will inherit his wonderful spirit. Uh, so, young leader 
uh, like him, is uh, truly the treasure of uh, Thai church. So uh, let us uh, raise up more uh, many uh, uh, future uh, leaders, young leaders uh, in future generation. So then um, uh, and we will have more confidence uh, for the future. So uh, fortunately, uh, yeah, when I visit, uh, uh, when I visit Malaysia, um, yeah, some of very uh, good, good second gen brothers and sisters uh, come to me. And after the Chonshimon prayer, it's all already the midnight, but they they have some question. So yeah, yeah, I just uh, agreed uh, to answer that question. But uh, their question was so good, and I also uh, very excited to reply. And we, yeah, we had good uh, conversation. Then when we finished, uh, it was uh, the uh, 4 a.m. Then <laughs> after that, <laughs> but on that morning, uh, I had to give another the, the Sunday sermon, Sunday service sermon. Then, yeah, after that, another meeting, another the other meeting, and then that was truly became a long day. So, but um, I was very happy. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy now uh, to see many uh, uh, future generation. The many future generation now start having the good Hyojonan spirit. So it's a everlasting the filial piety uh, for heavenly parents and true parents. So yeah, I can see the some of uh, the young leader and young second gen the uh, central figure now uh, keep coming up. So. Uh, so I truly uh, want uh, to raise up uh, those very capable and, and, and wonderful, beautiful uh, future generation. Uh, so, uh, and also uh, thank you so much uh, for Heavenly Top Gun uh, people. They also, the most, most of them are second generation. They truly invest their time and their career too. And they just jump in the different uh, circumstances. So culture is different, the language different, food is different, way of thinking also different, uh, but they truly uh, keep investing. So, um, so all uh, Chombo family member and all blessed family member, please take them well. And then, uh, yeah, so because they are your children and they are truly uh, try to pioneering the way uh, for second gen and third gen. So I also very glad uh, to see them. So uh, thank you, um, uh, Reverend Sutin, uh, for the first gen Hyojon Lang, uh, pastor. And uh, thank you for uh, HTM and Hyojun, good Hyojon Lang, uh, brothers and sisters in second and third generation. And thank you for all Chombo families. Uh, you are exactly the, your name will remain in the history ever uh, forever because uh, you are already uh, the Chombo family. But uh, for uh, next year's uh, Chonongun opening, uh, let us, uh, as a Chombo family, uh, let us uh, encourage each other and let us uh, one more push, then step forward uh, in terms of church growth, and uh, witnessing and raising up future generation. I, I truly, I, 
um, I, I truly uh, ask you uh, to let us involve the, the heavenly providence in, 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 the, in the front line. Thank you very much. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Huri, again, for that uh, wonderful and special message to all our Chonbo families, especially also to our second generation. Thank you also for the hard work that you are doing. All your best to guide and raise each one of us, not only our Chonbo families, our second generation, everyone to meet the expectation of our uh, true